All right, so we are at session four of our mini coaching series. And we're going to start talking about reinvention. So you're at the point now where I've given you a system to figure out how to actualize a vision for yourself and reinvent yourself. But most people will find that they fail painfully at this. I very much don't want that to be you. If you're following me on social media, if you are here, I want you to avoid those pitfalls. So let's talk about them. So what is reinvention? And why do I prefer the term reinvention over transformation? So you hear transformation, the word transformation a lot in the self-improvement space, but the thing about transformation, I'm going to bring my face up now. The thing about transformation is transform means to just change. So you can transform for better or worse. If I take a ball of Play-Doh and I squeeze it, I've transformed it. Now it's flat, right? Now, if I had a beautiful little, you know, Play-Doh that in the shape of a flower, it's really cute. I squeeze it, it's flat again. I ruined it, but I transformed it. So transformation is not always a good thing. But reinvention is very different. Reinvention means that I took something that already had utility, it already had value, it already had capacity, and I made some tweaks to it strategically, I altered it, to create something that's similar or new but with greater utility and greater depth. So reinvention basically accounts for the fact that there was already groundwork there. The whole point of my package being called the metamorphosis package is to exemplify that. Metamorphosis is a, is a strategic reinvention. You are changing, but you're changing into something better. And we see this. We see this in when plants are growing, when they first start off, you know, initially you're, it's a seed and then it starts budding and then it's just a flower bud and then it's a full-blown flower. We see it in nature all the time. You think of a butterfly, right? You're starting off as a caterpillar. The caterpillar cocoons itself and then starts to turn into what will eventually be a beautiful butterfly. That is metamorphosis and that is the nature of how, tr how our journeys are supposed to go. So... Most people are going to fail at self-improvement because of three things. And some of these things that were already mentioned, but repetition is key. Repetition is key in improving yourself. That's why the Quran says, فَذَكِّدْ Right? Remind, remind. Tell the Prophet, remind us. Because we're supposed to hear the th same things over and over again. These philosophies, these mindset shifts, you need them to constantly be hammered. And so they become a part of your self-concept. So the first reason why so many people fail is because they find themselves overwhelming themselves. So you overwhelm yourself. Number two is you won't play the long game. Number three, you don't appreciate the small wins. So let's talk about this in more depth. The first point, right, you overwhelm yourself. People will lead their entire lives not knowing what they want and then all of a sudden they figure it out or they have a sense of what they want and now that is all that they can think about and they go full force into it when you don't have the skill set built up when you don't have the grit built up when you don't have the longevity built up you are going to burn yourself out and then now this thing that you wanted so desperately, the first time you ever attempted it was a big fat failure. And that's not going to be good for your, your, the, the sense of encouragement that you need to get back to it. Number two, you won't play the long game. I talked about this in the masterclass. This is one of the prime mindset shifts you need to have for God conscious self-improvement. So I won't harp on it. You need to be able to sustain your effort over a long period of time and stack up those wins over a long period of time to see the growth. Nothing happens quickly. Gradualism is a principle of God of God's uh, theory to self-improvement. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala built this world on the principle of gradualism. Things are going to happen over time. 
the seerah of the Prophet والسلام, the revelation of the Quran happened over years. I'm not saying that it's going to take you years to reinvent, right? But it's not going to happen in a week. So number three is you don't appreciate the small wins and you get discouraged. So let's let's talk about this. Let's talk about how do you solve this? What are the solutions to these mindset breakers? So number one, when it comes to you overwhelm yourself, I talked about this in an earlier mini coaching, but simplify the task, simplify it, break it up into parts, right? And then add on as you go. This is how you avoid burnout. Number two, if you don't, if you struggle with playing the long game, commit yourself to a non-negotiable 30 days. I love the word non-negotiable because it's pretty straightforward. It just means you don't get to say no, non-negotiable, right? So commit yourself to a non-negotiable 30 days. You let yourself commit to that habit for 30 days straight. You're going to show your brain that you can do it. You're going to be very thankful. This allows you to build stamina while also taking it slow. Because 30 days in the long term of things is not an extremely long time, but it is long enough to basically represent a unit of time, which is a month. So that is important. Also, dopamine detoxing, which was spoken about in, I want to say the masterclass is important in this process because a lot of times why we're not able to sustain our progress is because we're constantly being distracted. We have burnt out dopamine systems that don't allow us to harness the motivation we have properly. So we just have to retrain our brain. Number three, notice the changes you're making. So this is how you counter the um, not appreciating the small ones and getting discouraged. Notice the changes you're making and celebrate that progress. You need to be mindful. Rem- like there, And there are two really great ways to go about this, but I'm going to bring my face up because I really want to emphasize this. The self-improvement journey is a lot of work. It, and you can simplify certain aspects of it, but it's a lot of work and a lot of time. A month into it, you should be able to look back and say, wow, I actually look at look at what I did. Like I got myself going to the gym or I got myself eating a better diet or I'm managing my anger better or I'm managing my depression better. Whatever it is that you're doing, this is a personal journey, so I don't know what your goals are, but you need to, like every month that passes by, you should be able to look back at where you started and where you are now. It might not be exactly where you want to be, but it is away from where you once were. And that in and of itself is a huge win. Another really powerful trick to helping you not get discouraged and helping you to count the wins is have a journal or have a photo diary. That way, when you're like years into the progress, you can look back and be like, oh my God, I can't believe I was there. I have my own journal. And when I look back at entries, I'm like, that is incredible at how far I've come. And it really makes you feel very proud. It also reminds you of what your former faults are so that if you ever find yourself getting close to it again, you can pull yourself back because you have that awareness. Okay. So that is the end of mini session number four. You have one final session left and I will see you there. Thank you guys so much.